In this video, I'll show you how to factory reset and restore your iPhone device to turn it into a brand new iPhone, okay? This is gonna help you wiping all data, it's gonna erase everything that you've got on your iPhone and your iPhone is gonna be set up once again from scratch as a brand new iPhone. And the coolest part about this is that you do not need the computer or anything else. All you need is your iPhone device and obviously you'll also need to follow all the steps of this video. Hey, welcome to Fixed by Shaq and in this channel, I, Shaq, help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing to the channel. So in today's video, I'll show you how to erase everything on your phone, wipe all data, delete all photos, videos, delete all applications and even settings from your iPhone and turn it into a brand new iPhone. This is a very important and useful step if you're about to sell your iPhone device or if you're about to buy an iPhone device from somebody else. So by following these steps, you can actually make sure that there won't be any link between your personal data and somebody else's personal data, okay? Because this is gonna delete everything and turn it into a brand new iPhone device. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So there are two approaches in here in order to restore your iPhone device. So I'll be showing it to you on two different iPhone devices, okay? So if you're running one of the latest versions of iOS, all you need to do is tap here on settings, okay? You then need to scroll down and go straight into general right here. So you need to tap here on general and then you'll need to scroll down once again and then tap here on transfer or reset iPhone, okay? Once you tap here on transfer or reset iPhone, you need to tap here on erase all content and settings, okay? Once again, please note that you're gonna erase, you're gonna lose all your data. Tap here on erase and uh, delete content and then you'll be on this message where you need to tap here on continue in order to erase everything from your iPhone device. So in this case, this is my main iPhone, so I won't be deleting everything on this iPhone, but this is the process. You then need to tap here on continue in order to erase your iPhone device. So I'll basically close this as of now and I'll be showing you how to perform it on an older version of iOS device. So here I am on an iPhone 6 Plus running an old software version and I'm sorry for the broken screen right here, but do not worry, the phone still works perfectly fine, okay? So if you're running an older version of an iPhone, the very first thing you need to do is hop into settings on here and then scroll down, tap here on general, okay? It's almost similar, it just differs in a few steps. You then need to go down and then tap here on reset, okay? And then you need to tap here on reset all content and settings, okay? So I already tapped on reset all settings and content and it says that my data is being uploaded to iCloud, but I do not care. I'll just tap on erase now because I don't wanna finish uploading anything. Next up, it's gonna ask you for your passcode, okay? So you need to have the passcode of the iPhone device and this is a very important step, especially if you're about to buy an iPhone from somebody else. So you can make sure that the person knows the passcode of the iPhone device and the iPhone isn't stolen, okay? Now, if you forgot your iPhone passcode, do not worry because I have another video showing you how to reset, restore your iPhone, even if you've forgotten your passcode. And the video is right here in the caption. So feel free to watch it if you forgot your passcode. In my case, I did not forget my passcode, so let me type my passcode real quick. So here we go, I already typed in my passcode and it says erase iPhone, okay? So let me tap here on erase iPhone, it's gonna ask me once again if I am sure that I want to continue and I'll tap here on erase iPhone, okay? And then it's gonna ask me for my Apple ID password to make sure if I really want to erase all content. This is safety from Apple side. Let me quickly type my password right here. So after typing in my password, I'll tap on erase. So once I'm done typing in the password for my iCloud account, your phone will automatically reboot and this progress bar is gonna appear right here. This won't take more than five to 10 minutes. It's a really quick process. All you need to do is just wait until the restore process 
finishes. So right now my iPhone is deleting all it has got here inside my iPhone. All photos, videos, applications and everything. Basically everything that it has got. So we just need to be patient and wait for a couple more minutes. And here we go. Ta-da! Our phone is now on its setup screen right here. So we've got a bunch of hello messages in different languages. We've got hello, bonjour, and etc. etc. And all we need to do right now is set up our iPhone again from scratch. So in order to set up, you need to tap here on home to open, and then it's going to ask you to choose a language. Okay. So I'll select English in here. Okay. And then the next thing it's going to ask me, it's the country or region where I am located or where I am living. So you can select your country real quick. I'll tap on United States. Okay. United States of America as of now, because I prefer to set it up as United States. And then you're going to tap on setup manually in here. Okay. Next up, it's going to ask me to connect to a Wi-Fi network in order to activate my iPhone device. Here we go. I've already connected my iPhone into a wireless connection. And now it's asking me to wait for a couple minutes while my iPhone activates itself. Once that's done, this is the next screen I'll be looking at and I'll tap here on continue. And then it's going to ask me to set up my touch ID. I personally don't wish to set up my touch ID right now. So I'll tap on set up touch ID later and I'll tap here on don't use touch ID but feel free to set it up. And now you can also create a brand new passcode on your iPhone. Okay. Let me just type in my passcode. So once I'm done entering my passcode, it's going to ask me whether I want to restore apps and data or all my information from an iCloud backup from an iTunes backup or move data from an Android phone. Okay. This is something very useful. And if you guys want me to talk about this in the channel, just leave a comment down below and I'll show you how to backup your data and restore it while changing uh, from one phone to the other. Okay. But as of now, I'll tap on don't transfer apps and data because I don't wish to transfer any data right now. Now, the next thing Apple is going to ask me is to log in with an Apple ID. Okay. So if you do not have an Apple ID, just tap here on forgot or I don't have. And then you can tap here on create a free Apple ID in order to create an Apple ID account. In my case, as of now, I'll tap here on set up later in settings because I'll set it up later. So I'll tap here on don't use Apple ID as of now, but I don't recommend you guys in doing this because this is not safe. Okay. It's not safe to use an iPhone device without any Apple ID logged in into it because anyone who steals it can actually use your iPhone. If you do not have any Apple ID logged in on your Apple device. Next up, you'll be able to see this screen right here, which says terms and conditions. You need to agree to them. If you have time, you may read them. But in my case, I'll tap here on agree and continue right now agree. Okay. And then I'll tap here on continue next up, continue once again. And then I'll tap on not now because I don't want to set up a message right now in here screen time. I'll tap on set up later in settings. Okay. And then it's going to ask me whether I want to share app analytics. I'll tap on don't share as of now. I'll tap here on the standard display because I like the standard display. I'll tap on next. And then here we go. Welcome to iPhone. Congratulations. You've just restored and reset everything on your iPhone device and your iPhone device is now fresh and ready to use. Okay. And here we go. We've got a brand new, fresh iPhone device in here. Once again, I'm sorry for the cracked screen in here. And thank you so much for watching this video. If this video really helped you, in some way, do like the video, leave a comment down below, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. By leaving a comment down below, you're also helping my content to get recommended here on a YouTube platform so that I can reach out to more viewers and consequently help more people with the same problem as yours. Thank you so much for watching Fixed by Shaq, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Ooh.